Welcome back to the Working Class Musician YouTube channel. I am Jimmy Franklin. This is the channel where I waste my money so you don't have to. So to be sure to get to the channel before you overspend, click subscribe below and turn on the bell notification and you will never miss a video and your wallet will thank you. What I have here today is something super cool that I've been freaking out about and I got two of them sent to me. So full disclosure, these were sent to me. I'm not being paid to say anything but I am, but I did receive them. And I couldn't be happier. Oh, I left the tuner on again. Polytune. This is the SIG-10 Mini from Sigma who sent me over these guitars because they insisted that they would blow my mind. And they were nothing short of correct. Just like the last Sigma video I did, I will reveal the price at the end or close to the end. So stick around because it's absolutely mind blowing. For those of you who didn't know, like me, Sigma is or was the, the Epiphone or the Squire to Martin. That's right, Martin had a, a budget brand that was Sigma, just like Gibson has Epiphone and just like Fender has Squire. They have since dropped the Sigma brand and then I guess Sigma just decided it was a good idea to stay on their own because they already were making guitars. And it's been unbelievable. So what I have today though, is this model that they've been promoting this whole year, and that is the SIG-10 Mini. And this is really cool because it's a little kind of backpacker. You know, it's a, it's a tiny guy. I forget what the scale length is, but it is way smaller. Anyone from your casual busker to an at-home player, or a first time acoustic guitar player, someone who maybe, you know, a, you know, someone who's 10 years old who wants to pick up acoustic guitar can do that with this. Something to remember about buying a first guitar if this happens to be that for you is that you want something that's gonna stay in tune. That's one of the biggest things that kills new players in my opinion is having a guitar that doesn't stay in tune. You have a beautiful sunburst kind of finish and I don't know what kind of woods this is. Let me look it up really quick. This is the SIG-10 Mini, hold on. Oh, there it is. This is a Tobacco Burst SIG-10 Mini, 37 and a quarter inch guitar, as opposed to a big, you know, standard um, acoustic guitar that's probably like 40 or 41 inches. Ah, this one is also spruce. Oh, but it has mahogany back and sides. Look at the wood grain. Look at that, it's beautiful all the way around. Absolutely love it. And look, it's so light. Oh, wow, well, I'm looking. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm looking up the, the details to this guitar. Let me screenshot that. I'm looking up the details to this guitar and it has a picture of me on the guitar to see what I say about it. Isn't that amazing? Huh. That's cool. Let's get some sound checks over on the guitar cam 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 cam. cam, cam, cam. cam. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. There's your, there's the magic E chord on an acoustic. As soon as you play the magic E chord, the hippies all gather around with their djembes and it's just time for a hippie festival, you know? Wow, is so much wow factor. The second that I got these sent to me, I was just in awe. I did not know what to, I didn't know what to expect and I just thought that they were another uh, cheap guitar off of Amazon. That's all I thought, I had no idea. And then when I saw the history about Sigma, I started to get a little more excited and then when I picked it up and played it for the first time, I was blown away. I was so, so happy because I don't like acoustic guitars very much. 
Just me as a whole, I'm not a fan of acoustic guitars. I get a lot of flack for it, but I you can't have insane, awesome distortion on an acoustic guitar. And also they hurt my hands after a little while. When I do acoustic gigs, I need something that is super, super comfortable and just easy for me to move around with because I, I, I just, my hands start to cramp up and I like being able to play for a long period of time. That's all it comes down to. And this guitar actually more than the big one is easier for that. So you can be sure that if you are a beginner and you're younger or you're buying it for your kid or something, that their fingers will be able to push down on this more so than a big acoustic guitar. Now, something that I think is really cool is that it has this very Martin reminiscent unfinished neck. And this blows my mind because all of them seem to have that. And all the Martins that I've played have had unfinished necks. I don't know if that's a brand thing across the board, but these also have it and I like it a lot. It's very, very nice and very smooth. I like unfinished necks. What a supremely beautiful, like quality sounding instrument, right? Another couple things that make this guitar so insanely worth it are little dumb things to me. Like I really like that there's a binding around this one, a double binding nonetheless, right? Another little dumb thing that I like that I mentioned in the other video is that it also has the strap button at the neck. Not only that, but like the way it's facing down and it's a little bit oversized, you have to be really doing something wrong for it to fall off. Like if you're just letting it hang down, it'll fall off from the back. So don't do that, but it's very secure and you're gonna want to stand up and play at some point. You're gonna wanna have some fun standing up and giving it a shot. I don't love the feeling of that off balance kind of like, you know, strap hanging across here. It's not my favorite thing. That's why I'm super picky about my acoustic guitars. And that's why I'm really enjoying trying these out. So yeah, so as far as it come, like when it comes to traveling or just like having some fun with friends and everything, even busking, this is a great, this is a great guitar to be playing on the New York City subway. You know what I mean? Let's do another drop D riff. Let's try it double times. All in all, this is a wonderful guitar for so many reasons. It's just, it's nice looking. I, I think it's so important. I think it's under, I think it's, undervalued the like getting a nice looking first guitar. So many people get things that maybe are a little bit beat up or something, but you also, you wanna have a little bit of pride in the instrument. And I think that that's so cool with having a tobacco sunburst. Half the guitars I own are tobacco sunburst. That's why I love this so much. It's all around just a really, really cool acoustic guitar. The only thing that keeps this and the bigger one from being my number one acoustic guitars of all time is that it has no electronics. I haven't checked to see if Sigma makes any models with electronics, but maybe if you guys are watching this at Sigma, send me one over and let's see how it is. So, oh, I did I did promise you I would tell you the price of this guitar. This whole lot of guitar that you're gonna get from Amazon, which I will have a link where you can get a few bucks off of this model and the holidays are coming up, so this is gonna be a great option. This guitar only costs a whopping $100 and $69. Anything, as soon as I got to the what, you should have been freaking out. So yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'm gonna go have some more fun with these things and uh, you're gonna see them in a couple future videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Both of them are Jimmy R. Franklin. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you picked up one of these and how much you love it. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>